Hi, my name is Sarah and I am a mom of five and I started thrifting and reselling about three years ago and I sell online on platforms like eBay and Poshmark and Kitizen and I do it so that I can stay home with my kids and I can be flexible and still bring in income and honestly I would be thrifting anyway and so if I see stuff that I know can make me money I am definitely picking it up. Thrifting is, has been a hobby for a long time and now it's a money maker and I really love it. So today what I'm going to do is um, go over some solds. So some things that have sold for me this month in the last week and a half or so on different platforms and let you know kind of what things I'm seeing as far as sales, how much things are going for, and maybe give you a little info as far as brands that are doing well for me, brands that aren't doing well for me, and kind of how I'm shaping my 2020 sourcing goals based on sales and just based on my experience. And um, just as a disclaimer, everyone does well with different things. So this is just my little piece of the puzzle, my little take on things. I'm still learning and growing like every day. I'm sourcing new things and trying new things out. So this is a moment in time and um, and things change. Things change in the market and things change with me personally and what I like to pick up. So anyway, the, all that to say, take it or leave it, but I just wanted to give people who are just kind of interested in sourcing or maybe are just looking at other options of things to source um, some ideas and let you show it's working for me and, um, and learn and grow from there. So anyway, if this is helpful at all, if you're interested in more like this, if you could like and subscribe, it would mean a whole lot to me. Um, this has been a fun endeavor, but I am hoping it's actually helping people. So um, I'm gonna start with eBay. So eBay is my biggest selling platform, um, with Poshmark being my second and Kitizen being my third. So I'm gonna go through first my eBay solds. I'm gonna um, have you guys be able to see photos of also what's sold and what the prices are. All my stuff, the majority of my stuff, is purchased at the bins. And the bins are a Goodwill outlet, so basically things that don't sell at the regular Goodwills or sometimes it can be things that are brought straight into a donated straight to an outlet um, are put in big bins. Everyone has to wait until all the bins are pushed in and then it's a mad dive into the bins to grab stuff. <laughs> and it is really weird and it is really fun and um, not everyone loves it but it's really cool what you can get and it's also fun to know that you're saving stuff from being tossed out and um, there's a lot of really good stuff that's still there. So that's the majority of what I get is from those um, from the bins. There's a little thrift store in my town that I shop out that has really decent prices. The regular Goodwill and most thrift stores, I just don't like spending those prices. And I like to spend, um, you know, like a dollar to three dollars an item, um, and then and then be able to make my money from there. So. Um, if you look at my sold, I'm not going to go through each one probably and say what it costs by weight, but if you can just know my average on my prices when I do my inventory, and um, so usually the average price ends up being between a dollar thirty, a dollar seventy, um, but definitely around the dollar fifty range if I average out my heavier items and then my lighter items. So this is an item actually I um, I sourced just this week. For those of you who don't know, this is a gunny sacks, which is a really um, popular reselling dress. It's from the 70s, a prairie dress. They get pretty good prices. I actually found one at the bins before that was super soiled and had to soak in OxyClean for like two days, and it cleaned up really nice. Um, I think there was still a little bit of staining. I think it sold for 75 but I know I could have gotten more had I waited it out. And this one, I'm kind of deciding what I'll do. I need to soak it as well and try and clean it up a little bit, but it's in good shape. Um, and then this is another, this is a handmade prairie dress um, that's a kid's one. And so I just got that listed this week as well. So now for sold. So first thing up is Loft Women's Jacket, a zip up. It's a lightweight career jacket. Um, it has been sitting for quite a while. It sold for $12.99. Loft is one of those things that I have done really well with in the past, but I don't know if it's just oversaturated. I don't know if I'm just picking up every loft and I need to be more selective, but I have not been as happy with my loft sales or my Ann Taylor sales. I almost think I need to make sure it's super in style and really good material, like something substantial, because I think how I'm going to 
start sourcing loft instead of picking most everything up that's in good condition. I need to be a little more selective probably. The next one is Free People, and this one did have some flaws, but I could not get rid of it. I had sold for $5. I was ready to put it up for auction and just redonate. Um, so $5, I made my money back and more. But it, I don't know what it is about Free People right now. Um, also, because <laughs> here I'm starting with some low ones, but um, I just have struggled to get much, like I get so many likes and so much interest in them and followers. Um, or watchers, but then, and then it sells for $5, so I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, I am definitely free people. I had a really good sale for a gown this month, but I am definitely going to be watching more carefully because I have another one that sold, you'll see in a second, that also sold for really low. Um, this was super fun. So this is a vintage ski mask. Um, I think it's vintage. I couldn't verify, but there was nothing like it being sold anywhere. There was no comps. Um, it was super unique, um, so I put a little question mark in my keywords because I couldn't verify it didn't have a tag, um, but it is hilarious. It has the mustache, it has the funny face, um, it, my husband was telling me it was some, some movie, Guy Fox, a vendetta, so we were looking it up, and I really still know nothing about it, but I do know it sold for $35, and it's really funny, and it made me laugh, so there you go. Um, the next one that sold is Goodfellow. So that's a Target brand. Target um, donate or not donates. Target sells their merchandise to the Goodwill for, I think it's a dollar a pound. And then Goodwill tries to sell it for more, but then a lot of it ends up at the bins. So these are brand new with tags. Sold for $17.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, the next one is another free people tunic. And it sold for $6.00. And it's cute. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with free people and me, but I'm having a hard time selling it. If any of you have suggestions on selling free people, let me know. Um, I would love to hear what types of things you look for. Next one, I actually got this idea from another reseller I follow online who has really great comps for Minnie Bowden. I pretty much stayed away from all kids clothes until I started following her. So Gingerbread Threads, if you don't follow her on Instagram, she has some really fun sales for kids clothes. And so she inspired me to start picking up kids clothes and I've been starting to sell them and cross post them to Kittizen. So Mini Bowden, a little jumper with a squirrel, super cute corduroy dress, sold for $18. And next one is American Eagle Boys Jeans. It sold for $8.99. And all of these buyers paid shipping because I used to do free shipping and I don't anymore. I just really like them to see that my profit margin isn't what they think it is. Some buyers think it is sometimes when they just see a total price. They think, oh, it's a few bucks, but it's shipping is really substantial. And so I think it helps me get a better price point for my items. The next thing is a lot of vintage dresses. And I posted about this on Instagram. There was like this bin where someone had obviously all the same size, a lot of them had new with tags, dresses that were that nobody had picked up. They were very old bins. And I um, I scooped them all up and I was so excited because they actually looked like they would be my size. They were a little, they were a little on the small side. Um, so I did try them on. <laughs> but they, a lot of them had stains. Even though they were new with tags, it was like I was gonna have to do some work to clean them up, to make each one feel profitable. And then I was like, you know what, this is this is not worth it to me. I'm just going to list them all as one lot, explain that there's flaws, show the flaws. And someone who loves these kind of dresses will get, it'll be one buyer for all these items. So, sold super fast in a couple days. So, um, the Banana Republic skinny jeans, they're like fall leather on the front and their fabric on the back. They're super cute. Comps look just really great. I actually paid up for these. I think I spent maybe $7.00. So my profit margin isn't quite as good, it's still good, um, took, but it took like two or three months for them to sell and I lowered the price and sent out offers and finally got them to sell for 30 buyer paid shipping. Um, Columbia Men's Fleece Jacket, this actually sold on a 40% off sale, I think I did, just trying to clear out some of my, I have an excessive amount of coats and jackets and so I clearance things that have been sitting for a while and so I'm pretty sure that's what that went for $10.79. Usually I can get more 
high, like 18-ish for fleece jackets or for the fleece vest. So um, that was a little bit lower than what I can usually get. Um, Dickies Men Work Shorts. I lotted these together. Dickies doesn't do as well for me as Carhartt or um, some of the other workwear brands. But since there were two together in the same bin, I got them and lotted them together and they sold for $22.99 by our paid shipping. Here's a non-clothing item that sold. It's a vintage Warner Wear Colonial Tea Kettle. It's actually a lot lighter than it looks. It looks super heavy, but um, the shipping ended up being a little bit under, um, thankfully, because I was a little nervous about that for the bigger items. But um, it sold in, I'm thinking that one was around four or five months, but that was a really good flip. I mean, it, it probably weighed, it was less than two pounds. So... It, it didn't cost much. It was under $250 and it sold for $40. Some of these vintage Warner Wagner, Wagner, I said Warner Wagner, wear um, kettles, some of the really old ones. So this one's from, I was looking up dates and kind of dating it from um, some different websites. Some of the really old ones go really high. So this isn't one of the hugely desired ones, but it's still a brand that definitely gets attention. Um, next one was a women or women's a men's competition brief. It was still new with tags and it sold so fast. It was a day or two and it sold for sixteen dollars. So I would I think it was less than a day. And I would totally pick it up again. I usually try I'm really trying for twenty twenty to stick to a twenty dollar price point or above because I know some of the things will sell, but I just don't have the time to get everything listed and get the profit I need if I'm listing things that are only making me seven to $10. So I'm really focusing on a $20 price point with bins prices for my sourcing. Um, next things that sold were some Sperry Topsider women's um, boat shoes. They were a little bit grungy. They were white is hard, ivory is hard because when it's older it just kind of looks more grungy. So they went, didn't go for a huge amount. Um, and I knew that would happen on those. Um, women's North Face jacket. This was actually a gift from a, fr or a, a friend who was going to be sending things to Goodwill, knew I was reselling and asked me if I wanted to go through the stuff and I did and I took the rest that I couldn't sell to Goodwill for her. Um, so this was awesome. This was a $60 sale um, and it's, you know, February. So things are kind of slower on that front. So um, I was super happy to get that sold pretty quickly. Torrid. So I love selling Torrid. It's my favorite plus size brand to sell. However, I do not love selling the smaller sizes. <laughs> so zero in Torrid sizing is a large one, is a an extra large two, is a 2X, etc. And I just need to not pick up the smaller ones because they're just harder to sell and they don't go for as much. So I really like to get 2Xs, 3Xs and up. So um Anyway, it's a super cute tank. Someone will love it, but it's not fitting my 2020 goal. So I won't be picking up the smaller sizes unless it's really amazing. Um, Prana Breathe men's denim jeans sold in a day for $22. They were in excellent condition. Um, I have never sold Prana jeans before, so I wasn't really sure um, how that would go, but definitely there's a demand for those, even in, you know, not a huge size. Um, Lucy Leggings sold for $12 again. Probably not something I'll focus in on right now. Um, and it, I feel like it took me a couple weeks to sell that item. REI Men's Jacket, again, did a big sale, trying to clear out some winter stuff. That went with that. It sold for $11.99. Motherhood Maternity. So I always try, because maternity clothes are expensive, and I know that. <laughs> but I cannot sell normal brands of maternity clothes for anything. So this is typical. I ended up putting it to auction. I'm avoiding maternity um, from here on out. And unless it's like a super high-end brand, $3.25. Little vintage, um, pretty simple plaid dress. Only went for $10. It was cute. It had those strawberry buttons. Um, India Arts handwoven tablecloth or bedspread. I looked them up and they're used for bedspreads. Um, but I thought it looked like something like a tablecloth, so I put both keywords in. Um, it had some uh, holes that I didn't notice before I purchased it, so that was disclosed and ended up selling for $18, which I felt was great. Um, for a, It was a pretty tablecloth, but it, it had flaws. 
Um, Laredo, or Laredo, however you say that, Cowboys men's boots sold for $27.99. There was a lot of kids clothes that have been sitting for years, literally, since we first started. I just wanted to get them out of here, auctioned them off for $5.50. Um, Lululemon women's leggings sold for $30. here is a fun one. This is an Aztec Southwest wall hanging tapestry. Um, I'm just starting to get more into weavings and tapestry and finding those things and grabbing things that look interesting to me. This one did and it apparently looked interesting to others. It sold for $35. Adidas boys shoes sold for $9. A Wilson leather handbag um, sold for $20 or $19.99. I had this for sale, didn't go for a couple years, I relisted and then it sold. So relisting items definitely can get fresh eyes on your stuff. Men's beautiful giant hooded sweatshirt, I thought this looked super cool, it ends up not being a brand that I think it's sold on Amazon pretty cheap so it only got $12 and that was my bad for not researching comps on that one. Levi's shorty, and I still made money, like $12 is still, like I paid a dollar. So all of these that I'm, like, I am not against $10 sales at all. I just know for myself that we need this to be more profitable. So I have to focus in my time on things that are going to bring in higher profits. But I built this business on $10 sales and they will forever be, there will be certain things I will always sell for $10 because I know it will sell fast. Um, Levi's Shorty Shorts, my first pair of shorts that have sold in a while and they sold for $15. There was an Ikea baby monitor that we got on clearance. It sold for $32, paid four for that. Um, all of the baby monitors that we got have sold overseas, which has been kind of interesting to me. So I don't really know why people overseas really are, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been trying to figure that one out because then we have to play global shipping and it just seems like it wouldn't be worth it, but that's where they're selling. Um, Clark's, I really need to stay away from comfort shoes because I have so many, so I'm trying to clearance those out too, it's sold for $10. Um, a friend gave me a bunch of kids clothes for one of my kiddos and there were some things that we just didn't need, so I lotted some things together and sold, they ended up selling on eBay, $15 for three pairs of corduroys. Kimchi Blue is an Urban Outfitters brand that I also can't sell very well so it went for $7.50 and been sitting a really long time and Klein a women's coat I ended up clearancing that out on auction for $1.99 Adidas Climalite shirt um, Adidas is it does not definitely doesn't have the same level of interest as Nike does um or Under Armour I found and the vintage stuff is cool though I grab I'm I'm focused more now on grabbing more of the vintage stuff or track pants. I feel like do pretty well too. Um, DKNY women's jeans sold for 16. There was this no name brand um, that sold for ten dollars of these cute little dress shorts. Still were new with tags, so I grabbed them. Um, the vintage women's swim cap. So this um, made my Instagram. Uh, feed a couple times because I found it and I was so excited because it was the second vintage swim cap I've found in a while and or in the last like couple months and it sold for 20 even though it had holes in it and it was so cute so I was excited and when I was recording this my video camera shut off so jumping in here to finish this one um, this was a vintage Mike Bennett's 80s prom dress it sold for $129.99 I only paid six dollars for it and it was beautiful. It was so 80s. The sleeves, the flowers, the bows, the ruffles. It was totally adorable as far as 80s style. So um, that was a great flip. It did take a little work to soak the hem. Had some little bit of staining. That was not that big of a deal. Just needed to soak for a day or so. And steaming and photographing was a little extra time, but absolutely worth it. I will be very watchful for vintage prom dresses from here on out, um, especially ones that really look the decade that they were made in. This one had USA tags. That's one thing I look for. I look for um, not so much the brand. Brand doesn't seem to really matter for most of it. Um, unless it was a super high-end designer brand um, or ones that are really well known like Gunny Sacks and Pendleton. Um, but this one definitely ha 
had all the pieces it needed for making a great sale, so keep your eye out for unique vintage prom dresses. So I have no idea why stuff is selling in February for Christmas, but it did. It sold within a, this tablecloth sold within a day and it sold for $22. It was really cute. It was kind of a vintage -y, um, retro looking tablecloth, but I was really surprised to have it sell that fast. Um, the other thing that I experimented with was some vintage cameras that I found in the bins. And I'm not sure I would do vintage cameras again, unless I could tell like, that there weren't any flaws from my unexperienced eye. Um, one of them had flaws and went for really low, like, like the back wouldn't even stay on, it was a film camera. This one didn't have any flaws that I could see, but it was missing its lens cover, and I, um, I just disclosed what I knew about it. It ended up selling for $25, buyer paid shipping, so it was still a flip that was probably worth it, but it was a little more, maybe I was just overwhelmed because it was new to me and how to, I spent a lot of time researching and trying to figure out the best way to list it. So I don't know. Now that I have that under my belt, maybe it won't be so difficult next time. Um, Maggie Barnes leather jacket went for 60 a vintage Smokey the Bear plush toy. Um, a 1970s toy went for 22 a Lane Bryant dress, super cute, um, size 16, went for 20 Lulu Lemon, or not Lulu Lemon, Lulu Roy leggings went for a dollar you guys do not pick up lularoy leggings unless you really research the brand and print or the print and the style because i tell you i've lost money on that one um the prairie primer it's a homeschool unit study sold for 22 um vintage plush pink teddy bear super cute sold for 25 the petunia pickle bottom diaper bag sold for 4.99 i will not be picking up those anymore um Vintage mini bowling ball set. It was so cute. What, there really weren't any comps like it, but other mini bowling ball sets were selling for like the 2025 range. So, and I thought mine was really cute. So I priced it a little higher and it sold pretty fast. Somebody wanted it. Um, Eddie Bauer women's hiking pants sold for 15. Carhartt men's denim jeans sold for 18. Um, we bought a bunch of, um, hair products from Regis salon when it was going out of business they had all their products for five dollars um, so I have slowly been trickling through those this last year this person bought two hair treatment sets so my cost was 10 and it sold for 30 an apartment nine brand new with tags tunic top went for nine again pureology two cans so it was ten dollars sold for 25 Banana Republic Women's Peacoat sold really fast for $28.99. I was worried because it was the end of the year, but again, that sold really fast. Um, Levi's 511 Slim Fit. I like selling Levi's 511s. They're the ones that seem to move pretty fast for me. They don't sell for a whole lot, but they sell fast. So I have been picking them up if they're in really good condition, still deciding on those, whether I'll keep, keep grabbing those or not. Um, a friend also gave me, a different friend, gave me some still new in the box, um, little die cast metal um, motorcycle toys. And two of those have sold for 25 pretty quickly. The other ones are, have been sitting a little bit, so I don't know if maybe they're not as desired because these ones got a lot of attention. So I don't know if there's certain ones that get more attention than others, but I have a couple more of those to sell. Abercrombie and Fitch women's denim jeans for $8.50. I really, really am struggling with knowing what jeans to sell for women. So that is something I need to learn more of. Or maybe I just don't find the high-end brands at our Goodwill outlet. But I'm kind of discouraged on jeans and kind of find that men's jeans sell a lot better for me than women's. Vintage Ralph Lauren flat sheet. It's like everybody at the bins runs away from um, when the uh, linens and the comforters bins come out and this time I actually ran for it because I saw the Ralph Lauren polo bear and I knew that that was popular so sold super fast it's just the one sheet and it sold for 20 um, I sold a vintage fascinator hat that was super cute um, it was purple had some netting that went down the front it was kind of like a headband that sold for 22 and now I'm going to go and switch to Poshmark. 
Okay, so my sales at Poshmark so far this month have been a Shade and Shore swimsuit. It's super cute. One piece, still new with tags. It's a Target brand. It went for $16. A Lauren Ralph Lauren silk top. Went for $25. And this one was one of my favorites. A vintage 90s Kermit Klein sweatshirt that I actually had in one of my videos as well. And that sold on this platform on Poshmark for $38 the buyer. Sent me an offer for $25. I think I had it listed for $40. And then I, or $45. And he sent for $25. I responded with $38, figuring there was going to be some bantering. And it was accepted right away at $38. And so I was happy to have that take off to its new home. The free people dress, the, so a free people item that did really well for me was a gown. Um, beautiful maxi gown, size 4. Um, I loved that dress. It did have some flaws. It was missing some sequins and had some light staining. Um, I listed high at $150 but ended up dropping price a little bit and then eventually took an offer for $90. A Nike gray ducks sweatshirt sold for $19. Some Adidas boys joggers sold for $14. Joggers for boys do really well, so anything that has the cuffed ankle is seems to be more popular right now. And also the tearaway pants are another one that go really well for me. Sold some Tom's flat shoes, lace up, nine, size 9 for $20. Reeboks CrossFit shoes sold for $20. American Eagle, um, it's uh, just a v-neck tee, sold for $8. Poshmark, I'm really starting to not want to price things too low because they take $250, I believe it's under either $10 or $12, they take $250. So if you're selling something for $8, they're taking $2.50 of that and it starts to just not feel worth it to me to list items um, that are just that lower price point. Um, New Balance Women's Athletic Shoes sold for $25. And now I'm going to move to Kitizen. And Kitizen, I have only had a few sales, but I'm excited because I'm starting to get more traction on that site. And um, I haven't been on it very long, and I've had some orders. So um, yesterday was actually my first sale of an adult item. I just started posting in the last week or so adult items to Kitizen. And I sold a Torrid um, women's top. And it's size 2, and it sold for $23.80. I did do the shipping um, included with that. So the shipping cost $3.30, so about $20 price point on that, which is much better than what I was getting in the smaller size Torrids. Um, I sold a full-body swimsuit, sun protector swimsuit, for $21.60. It did include um, shipping. And then my first sale on Kitizen was a vintage handmade baby sweater with hearts. Super cute. Um, that sold for $22.50. It included shipping on that price. So I hope this is helpful. These are just some of the sales from the last couple of weeks. Um, kind of the highs, the lows, everything in between. I hope it's helpful in seeing what things are selling for me. I know for me, when I watch other videos my favorite ones are the solds because it shows kind of what traction people are getting on certain things that helps me think of what I want to be buying and um, I hope that the price points are helpful and those of you who are just getting started and are figuring out pricing sometimes it helps to see what things have been going for for other people and it's interesting though because certain people will be able to get more for certain items or less depending on so many factors of algorithm and and just the views that their store seems to get or just some people get really into a certain niche and can get more for certain types of items than others. I'm a very random shopper and buyer and so my items are all over the place as you probably could tell. So it's fun and I it's the way I like to do it um, but there's so many ways to do this job and it's really cool. So anyway Again, if this is at all helpful, like and subscribe. I'm going to try and learn from doing a solds video and see what's helpful, not helpful. If you want to give me any tips or want to give me any um, suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear. Thanks. Bye.